here's my uh, new setup. Um, I went ahead and got a uh, temperature controller and um, I decoupled my power supply so I'm running just straight off 12 volt for right now um, so I have the the Peltier and the um, fan running off of the same supply and then there's power running to the the uh, thermic controller here um, now the fan itself is is just straight 12 volt running in and the Peltier is actually um, part of the supplies coming off the back of the um, thermo controller here um, and this has its own uh, thermocouple now this isn't I can't um, submerge this at least I don't think I can it, it looks sealed on the back but I don't want to risk it right now um, I'm going to see if I can find another thermocouple that's um, non-polar uh, so that I can stick it actually inside the carboy um, I have one right here but it's a positive negative so you have to have the the leads hooked up one to positive one to negative and uh, this thermo controller is not designed for that um, but this is ideally what I'd want is something like this is a long thin uh, probe and the actual sensors down in the tip here so I could submerge this, run it in, feed it in through the this through the neck, and then have it hanging down inside the carboy. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna secure this to the side of the carboy uh, and insulate it, and then I'm gonna insulate the entire carboy, um, and we'll let this run overnight. The temperature is pretty close. I've got 77.3, 77.5. Uh, off of this probe and then I have 77 off of this probe so they're they're within a degree of each other and um, so I have this set so that uh, the temperature uh, so it's going to go down to 59.7 if it goes down at all and uh, and then it, it'll shut off at that point and then just you know cycle through and try to maintain this temperature um, so just let this run overnight and we'll see what it's looking like in the morning okay so this has been running for uh, probably close to 24 hours and uh, current temperature in here is 78 degrees and the thermocouple for the controller says it's down to about 73.9. Um, that's just not going to work. So there's a couple other things I, I guess I'll have to try. Um, I think one is better insulation just in general um, for the whole assembly because I know there's a there's dead air space right in here. Let's see if I can get this off without messing things up. Uh, glare from the light's not helping, but so you have from about here down to two more inches down below there. It's just all dead airspace, and I think we're losing a lot of the. Um, cooling capability in that space and there's condensation right here and it's actually cool so I have to come up with a way to insulate this area and maybe even just increase the power going to the uh, Peltier because this is warm but um, if this was really cranked I wouldn't be able to touch this so it's it's operating but it's just not running like full tilt um, so that's where we're at now uh, it does work it's four degrees cooler in the carboy than it is in the uh, in the air so maybe if I can uh, insulate this we'll get it down even colder 